the future of humanity is about to take an incredible leap forward. Wow. For centuries, humans have dreamed of a world where technology and biology seamlessly coexist. Now, that dream is finally becoming a reality with the announcement that Neuralink, a brain-machine interface, is beginning human trials. While the technology has been used on animals with great success, the implications of this breakthrough for humanity are tremendous. Could this be the beginning of a new era of enhanced communication and understanding, or could it be the beginning of humanity's downfall? Find out as we explore the possibilities of Neuralink and what it could mean for our future. This is Technology Now. Neuralink, the revolutionary brain implant technology, has taken its first steps to become a reality by beginning human trials. This groundbreaking development has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with technology and could bring about a new era of cognitive enhancement. But how does it really work? With that, let's go back to the basics. The brain is one of the most complex and fascinating parts of the human body. It controls everything from our emotions and thoughts to our movements and behaviors. It is responsible for interpreting information from our five senses and making decisions based on that information. The human brain is similar in structure to that of other mammals' brains, although the mammal brain is much bigger when compared to the size of the human body. Now, you might assume that a larger brain size means you're much more intelligent, but you'd be wrong. Research has shown that this is not the case. Brain size does not necessarily correlate with intelligence, and there are numerous factors that can influence a person's level of intelligence such as genetic background, environment, and experience. Also, intelligence is a difficult trait to measure and it is not necessarily based on the size of one's brain. In fact, the sperm whale has the biggest brain of any animal species, weighing up to 20 pounds or 7 to 9 kilograms. But that doesn't mean it's any smarter than us. The average human brain accounts for around 2% of a person's total body weight, or about 3 pounds. It is also composed of billions of neurons, which form intricate networks of connections that allow us to respond to our environments and store memories. The brain is responsible for regulating many of the body's functions such as breathing, digestion, and heart rate. It is also responsible for controlling our behavior and emotions, and it is the source of our creativity and imagination. Now, let me take you on a trip to the cerebrum. The cerebrum is the most complex and highly developed part of the human brain. It is responsible for higher functions such as thought, language, memory, emotion, and voluntary movement. It is divided into two symmetrical halves or hemispheres, which are further divided into four distinct lobes, frontal, parietal, temporal, and occipital. The cerebrum is the largest part of the brain, accounting for about 85% of its total weight. Its outer layer, the cerebral cortex, is responsible for the most complex mental processes, including decision-making, problem-solving, planning, and higher-level language processing. It is constantly receiving and interpreting sensory information from the environment and is largely responsible for our conscious experience of the world. Understanding the workings of the brain is essential for understanding the human experience. But occasionally, despite its impressive capabilities, the human brain actually slows down the body and even causes it to lose certain functions. There are a number of disorders and incidents that might make this organ useless. Elon Musk, being his usual self, saw the need to step in and introduce Neuralink. Neuralink proposes implanting a chip in the human brain in order to monitor and maybe stimulate brain function in order to increase cognitive ability. The Wall Street Journal announced the discovery of Neuralink to the general public for the first time in 2017. It wasn't until 2019 that Elon Musk and other officials of the Neuralink executive team made a public showing of their technology through a live-streamed presentation. The Neuralink chip is placed in the skull and is roughly the size of a coin. From the chip, a tangle of wires that are each about 20 times thinner than a human hair extends into the patient's brain. There are 1,024 electrodes built into the cables, allowing them to detect brain activity and hypothetically stimulate it with electricity. 
In order for scientists to analyze this information, it is sent wirelessly from the chip to computers. The business has shown that Neuralink is an operational technology. By the year 2020, Neuralink has successfully implanted one of its chips into a pig called Gertrude. The demonstration served as proof of concept, showing that the chip could precisely anticipate the location of Gertrude's limbs as she walked on a treadmill and record brain activity while the pig snuffled around for food. Elon Musk has said that Gertrude has been adjusting to having a chip in her brain for two months. The pig's health was perfect before, throughout, and after the trial. In April of 2021, Neuralink took their animal demonstrations to the next level by demonstrating a monkey's mind-controlling video games. The footage of a macaque monkey called Pager playing video games was uploaded by Neuralink. When Pager played, he did so using a joystick that was unplugged from the game's console, so he had to use brain impulses to direct the cursor's movement instead of physical contact with the controller. Now, you may be asking how exactly the chip will be implanted into a brain. But before we go any further, I'd appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future technologically related uploads. Alright, back to the question how precisely one's brain will be implanted with the chip. Well, the company has created a robot capable of doing this very challenging task. The robot would insert a stiff needle into a person's brain and then pierce the flexible wires coming from a Neuralink chip, like a sewing machine in several ways. In January 2021, Neuralink unveiled a video demonstrating the robot. Musk claims the device makes implanting Neuralink's electrodes as simple as LASIK eye surgery. The needle is automatically adjusted to account for the patient's brain movement, which occurs in tandem with the patient's breathing and heartbeat during the surgical procedure. The robot stands at a soaring 8 feet in height, and as Neuralink is working to perfect its foundational technology. Now that we've proven the concept in animal studies, we can go on to testing on humans. Due to the inherent complexity, this is a substantial breakthrough. There is a very high standard that must be cleared by any organization planning to conduct human trials of this kind before they are granted the necessary permissions. Musk, meanwhile, has told investors that Neuralink would aim higher than what regulators need. I mean, when exactly do we get to start testing on humans? Well, Musk has disclosed this, but what applications of Neuralink do you foresee for humans? A future when chips may be implanted into the brains of patients suffering from neurological diseases like Parkinson's is possible. Technology advancements in the field of neural interfaces such as the Neuralink may one day aid in the diagnosis and treatment of debilitating neurological disorders like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. A patient's brain electrodes can simulate touch, giving them more motor control over a prosthetic limb. As part of its launch, the business said that the first commercial use of its chip will benefit those with quadriplegia, the medical term for when all four limbs are affected by paralysis. Neuralink will allow individuals who have lost the use of their limbs to play games, write emails, and make phone calls all with the power of their brains instead of their hands. It is expected that Neuron-like will also be effective in treating memory loss in the elderly and those who have had a stroke. Elon Musk mentioned Neuralink's potential in combating health issues including morbid obesity during a discussion with Ted's Chris Anderson. Meanwhile, eager participants in Neuralink's human trials are forming long lines, so we should expect to see Neuralink's first human study start as soon as possible. Elon Musk's Neuralink brain implants is a revolutionary new technology that has the potential to not only revolutionize medicine and healthcare but also how we interact with technology. The implant could potentially be used to wirelessly connect the brain to computers, allowing for direct interface between the two. This could open up a world of possibilities from treating neurological diseases to creating a direct connection between humans and machines. This could be a major step forward for our future, allowing us to harness the power of technology in ways we never thought possible. With Neuralink, we could be the masters of our own destinies and take control of the future. I hope you found this video entertaining. Again, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching. All the latest technological developments right now. This is Technology Now. I'll see you 
in the next video.